Hi, I'm Rob Puriri, the FlowPro Designer On Demand. Today I'm going to show you how to add a boiler and impose loads to your project in FlowPro Designer. So to add a boiler, we left click on the drop down menu. I'm just going to select a generic boiler, so no manufacturer. Left click. Now I have it again on my mouse and to drop it anywhere in the space I just left click once and it drops it onto the screen. Now let's go to this red impose load icon here, click the drop down menu, left click. Let's select inline baseboard fin tube, left click, I have it on the cursor again, left click and drop it under that window. And, and see what's happening, as soon as I dropped it, the load from the middle of the room is pushed above the radiator and I'll explain uh, why that's important or how that works later. We'll select another piece of radiation, click on it once, I'm going to drop it under this window. Now notice how it's not facing, not parallel with the window or not facing the wall. So to change that I left click on it and remember what the green dots mean, that means I can work with that piece of equipment or that component and when I clicked on that, if you go over to the left here you'll see that this menu lit up. It's a little tough to see, but if you look close, I can now mirror things. I can turn them left or right. I need to turn that to the right once. So I click on this, left click, and you notice how that flipped it 90 degrees. Now it's parallel and uh, looking like it's installed right under the window. So that's how you drop a boil onto the screen, how you add some radiation under the windows, and how you turn things so they're facing the right way in Flow Pro Designer. That's it for now. Remember, you can get FlowPro Designer help on the FlowPro Designer support page, which is at the Taiko FlowPro website. You'll find a series of these short how-to videos plus tips, tricks, and keyboard shortcuts. You can email or call me anytime, even on the weekends. Thanks for watching. See you soon.